McMurphy. Here. Poe? Yes. Decker? Yes. Hannaford? Here. Ethan? Here. And Susan and I, you are here. I'm going to tuck your backs up. discussed on the minutes from the December 10th meeting. It looks fine to me. Make a motion to approve the minutes of December 10th, 2019. Second. Motion by Hannaford, second by Decker. Hannaford? Yes. Decker? Yes. McMurphy? Yes. Poe? Yes. Eaton? Yes. Sorry. I have a resignation email from Sandy Olson. She not only resigned from the NOWEDA, she resigned from the NOWEDA board and the committee. Um, I have a letter. Well, I have this email from her. That says she truly enjoyed love might be a better word of serving and hope to continue in the future please keep me in mind so. in your motion i can make that motion to accept that resignation second motion by poe second by mcmurphy poe yes mcmurphy yes decker yes hannaford yes Eaton? yes Susan Bradford, the mayor of Winoka, has graciously agreed to fill Sandy's shoes. And how long is that term? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just this life. <laughs> okay. Um, you will be filling Sandy's term. And Sandy, let's see. Which she was set to expire June of 2021, mm -hmm. um, and it's three-year terms. Okay. So you you serve you, two of those, correct? Right? Three. You three. can serve three consecutive three-year terms, and after that, they require you to be off a year. I make a motion we approve. Second. Her. Not her, Susan. Motion by McMurphy, second by Hannaford. McMurphy? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Poe? Yes. Decker? Yes. Eaton? Yes. Welcome aboard, Susan. Thank you. send out the quarter we have quarterly pledge um, donors and I just sent those out for March so I would anticipate receiving some in any time um, we're going to discuss this down here in number eight but you'll note that we received 30,000 from Louisa and that was by request and we'll discuss that down here um, and I'll give you a report on that. And then the lead of funds. <coughs> okay. I'd make a motion we approve the financials. Second. Motion by Poe, second by Decker. Poe? Yes. Decker? Yes. Bradford? Yes. McMurphy? Yes. Hanover? Yes. Eaton? Yes. Seven infrastructure. A an update. 
um, received back this week, so yesterday, received, um, Avard had partnered with Rural Water District number three in sending out um, income surveys to account holders in Rural Water District number three. I just got those back yesterday that I'm going to utilize that information in helping them apply for funding and, and us to, it'll ultimately help the park in having water infrastructure. That's a box that we're not really able to check at this point if you need any kind of volume of water. That's something that we don't have. So um, we're working on that and it would help in upgrade their entire system, which ultimately will help I mean, more than a third of the county. So, is that through water resources? Potentially through water resources. Boy, that's one avenue. Yeah. There's also maybe some money through the DEQ. Okay. So, um, that's some avenues that we're looking at, but we're gathering data. Who's where besides you? Uh, Charlene with Rural Water District. Okay. Yeah. I went and spoke with them at their last board meeting and talked to them about it. And I mean, like I said, Avard volunteered to, they paid for the postage and all the printing and everything. Charlene took care of sending it out and, and collecting it. I got So, anyway, um, that is probably the primary infrastructure that we're looking at is water that Avard. And Alan, I don't know how many of you know that, Alan sits on that board now. He replaced Joe Royster when, when Joe retired. So. Will that need to come through the county? Well, it depends I, on that, what, maybe what the county. It, it depends know. on how we do the voting. Yeah. So, I mean, it can. I, I thought that there was some discussion about that the water district would need to go through you That's guys. for a re Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I don't know about the other. The other. Okay, so it depends on the grant for agency. Yeah. Gotcha. But REAP does. We have to yeah. Uh, yeah. fund it. So, and then we get reimbursed on the REAP grants. Mm -hmm. Or it unincorporated is what that means yeah. to. And, if, and what we would do would flow through the industrial authority. Okay. So it wouldn't reflect in our financial statements. Okay. Um, do you want to give a little update on downtown revitalization and wayfinding signage? Um, what our next step is there? Yeah, we're getting new, at least two, maybe three or four, depending on size, um, signs installed. A couple of them will for sure be downtown. Um, if ODOT will agree, we want to put one. Uh, sign up by the Baptist Student Union as you're coming in from the south with an arrow that points to the town square. Um, and then I haven't talked to the university yet, but um, if we have some money, if we can do this, I'd like to see if we couldn't put we have in this whole program um, what are called destination uh, wayfinding signs for like Ranger Stadium on Oklahoma Boulevard and um, 281 as you're coming in from the south um, to coincide with all of the other signage. That's just something that's kind of out there. So um, that will be happening before um, the end of the summer. We'll get all that done. And then there is a, we're working with the city of Alba, there is a, I think it's $3,000 uh, facade grant to business owners who want to in, upgrade or improve their facade around the square that we need to promote to help people who own properties downtown that maybe would like to upgrade their uh, front facades, so we can have them. It's that. really anywhere in the city. Is it for yeah, anywhere? We've, done, we've only done one sign so far. Really? Yep. So. 
that's something we looked at done at Winoka several years ago when we couldn't get get them on board. So that might be something that. No, actually we did. Oh, but not. I mean, here. well, right, I mean, that right. Was right. Yeah, the city did. Mm -hmm. That's what I. I don't know what all the process is yet, but do you know? Is there an application? I think it's. I want to say it's up to five thousand. We'll match half. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So. You know, I think we would go up to twenty five hundred, and I mean the the one we did was like our half was like twelve hundred, right? Thirteen hundred dollars. So. Can the application process be located though? Where is it? Yes, it's it's on our website and at city offices. Okay. And then we're still um, trying to get upgrades done with the courthouse stage. I'm not I'm not done with that yet. It's okay. gone through several processes. The, the Kiwanis have raised 25000 um, and so we are meeting with Richard Friday and that's going to be decided. The Alva Arena project, um, we've submitted our draft financial feasibility to USDA. Um, they will look at it and send back any questions or things that they have on it. They do not want it in final form until they've signed off on it at a regional level. So it's it's been sent. Um, and that's for the process of loan application? That's for the process of loan application to them for a 40-year loan on that, on that project. Um, We've jumped through all the other hoops. We've been jumping in. I already have contacted the state um, historical society. I mean, we've already got that. The oh, they didn't have to do a section 106, did they? Yeah. And the archaeological, yeah, we do. Oh, because it's USDA, yeah. Okay. So we've already done that, and we already have them signed off on that. And I went through the Department of Interior Bureau of Indian Affairs and yes, contacted yeah, the Southern Plains. Probably won't get much and back. I'll be surprised. They laughed when I told them where we were located. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we won't. That's a hoop <laughs> jumping. <laughs> that's exercise. a hoop jumping activity. So, anyway, that that stuff has been completed. Um, we are still pushing to break ground this summer. And once you break ground, then it is an 18 month. So we've been told 18 months to completion. So um, right now, it's just a it's a we're waiting for them to tell us yay or nay or if we can move forward. Um, on the census 2020, we've I think Ethan has been very involved. Um, yeah, he's done some presentations. And I know that he will do presentations to uh, communities, to Lions Club, chambers, whatever, um, to get everybody on board. And everything I get to him, I've been sending, or I get, I send to him because they're putting out a lot of promotional information since his 2020 is. Has he met with the Winoka City Council? He hasn't. Put I just made myself a note yeah, to call he needs to come talk with you guys. Right. Yeah. Okay. And And just so you know, he just so you're up to he is a county, county employee. employee. Yes. Yeah, I've worked with Ethan on other projects, so I'll give him a call. No, this it's is not a different I, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. This is a then I need and Ethan that uh, we just uh, hired to work on the 2020 census. Oh, I see. Okay, it's different. He's a student. He's a student. Oh, right. yeah, it's a great, yeah. great young man. Yes, okay. very grew up in mm -hmm. Allen Cleo area. Well, if someone could provide me some contact information, send that to you. Yeah. Yep. I will, I will say there's been a little bit of confusion with it's coming from the Census Bureau about, I mean, for us as like, the university, of how we can. You know, at first it was we could actually send in the names of the people in our dorms and things, and then it had came back and they said, well, somebody else said no, they'll actually have to still go through and, you know, provide the information on the computer. So it's kind of been a frustrating a, a little it bit. Ha, it has been, and this is the first year they're doing anything where you can do it digitally or online. So 
But yes, you guys are out of trouble. Pros and companies too. Well, well, that's what I'm worried about. And, yep, I yeah. imagine they are. Okay. So, and I'm sure you have heard how much that, that every single head count counts for in a county. There's a we can't leave. Amount. We can't leave any dollars on the table. No. Um, business recruitment, retention, and assistance. I'll tell you, this is something that we've been talking about, and I've talked to Alan about it, and I've talked to Jeremy about it, and Darren. And I've talked to the Industrial Development Authority Board because they will be ultimately the ones that apply for the funding. Is the Industrial Authority has land that we have leased at uh, the airport, and we're looking at putting another incubator building but it would be aviation related out there um i've called to have it flagged for utility so we can see where those lay so we'll know um we would utilize the same drawings and stuff we have for the building that's already currently there and put that up there so we have uh, been working with career tech and have a potential person that's looking at, at being in there, whether it be starting his own or being employed by somebody. So, speaking okay. of incubators, I mean, you know, there's an opening at one of the incubators. Yeah. Somebody that was somebody in the county, I mean, just recently. If it's needed, that is available. Okay, mid-year adjustments. When I talked to Alan about uh, me changing, we normally, well, things have changed with NOWIDA. NOWIDA is the Tri-County Board, and that includes Woodward County, Major County, and Woods County. And they took the funds that they have and divided them up. And so we have divided them up <coughs> equally from the beginning of whatever to, to now. So everybody has received or has in their little account funds um, that they can pull from. We have never requested an amount before as far as for operating because that's what those funds are used for for us is operating primarily. And um, we generally just take what they give us. One year it might it was thirty some thousand, and one year it was twelve. I mean, you just never knew what you're getting. It depend on what comes in from that hazardous waste tax. So to date, um, we had until this last meeting, $86,626.57. And then we requested 30000 for this year. And so that brought us to a balance of $56,626.57. Now, they will get a payment in April. They'll get a payment I mean, they get paid quarterly, so there'll still be money coming in, but that's what it is of, as of right now, is we have 56,626.57. Then we'll still get a third of that that's coming in later? Yep, and they'll just keep dividing that up. So, um, I have a letter here where I have to show them that we did a midterm adjustment on our budget where we had a, initially approved 20000 as a request from them, and we upped it to 30, and that went into payroll because we are with the transition, I guess. My thought on it is we hopefully will be paying two employees for a short period of time, and if we had the ability to access more of that to do that, it would be you know, good to do so, so we have the availability. Now, I mean, obviously, we're going to head an agenda, but Sonia resigned. You know, we would like her to be able to cross train that person for a little while. That money has to come from somewhere to do it. Yeah. So. Anyway, so we need to approve a mid mid 
short-term budget adjustment of $10,000, and then I will need Alan to sign this notification to Noita, notifying them that we made that change, and I'll send them a copy of the minutes. Did you make that request at the last meeting? Yes. Okay. And you're requesting an additional No, team? no, 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 no. Yeah. I, I, I had already requested it. because. Okay, they that's where the third came in, instead yep. of 20. <clears throat> 30 okay. instead of 20. Make a motion to uh, approve a mid-year budget adjustment of ten thousand dollars for FY twenty. Second. Motion by Hannaford. Second by Eaton. Hannaford. Yes. Eaton. Yes. Bradford. Yes. McMurphy. Yes. Poe. Yes. Decker. Yes. Okay. Yeah. On that same note, can I just ask quick? Sure. So, which county's balance is is fifty six thousand? Right. Okay. And then they're going to add to that, and instead of putting in one pot, they're yep. putting our third on top of this 56. Yep. Okay, so there'll still be, there could still be a request for a project. Or, yep. Or, there, there can. My, okay. My recommendation, though, is that you leave around 20000 in there right. at all but, times. But I mean, if else. there's a need, that's yes. still what the board, and rather than just split up just the money. Just to clear that out. <laughs> Um, those requests must come through this board. Okay. So it's not like this, anybody in the county can request those. Those requests come from this board. So, so from the NWEDA funds. Yes, yeah, any, any requests to them have to come, come through here. Come. Let's come yeah. come. So, so basically they bring somebody it to would us. come to us if yes. we approve that as yes. a request. Exactly. Yeah. And, it, and they have a certain criteria that there is going to be one by, is it the June, is it June? Yeah. when did you, thank you, when I talked to you was that thank I you. need to get it in next month? Yeah. Okay. So that's just for your, for your knowledge, because I think there's been some mis misnomers about that. That needs to come through this office. So it's and not we just coming, right, not having to deal with the individuals. Right. Yeah. So, but essentially, <laughs> though, the crux of the deal is a Woods County request will just come out of Woods County's fund. Yes. It won't be shared like it was before. And just well, you can. Now, let me. Uh, we can borrow from other counties. Okay. But. Yeah, well. That is what is made available to us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it needs to be a job creation. Right. Offered. Well, I just want to be clear how that yeah. work means this was a change. It's been pooled before. It, right, and, it, it, and it's been all, that's why we never knew what we were getting. Right. So I like this better that we kind of have an idea right. of what we have in there. Um, but, okay. The next is more just so you can be thinking. I don't really know that you need to be thinking, but um, the, we have a couple board members that will be, their second term will be coming to an end in June, and that is Randy McMurphy and Alan Poe. Like I said, they can serve three consecutive three-year terms, so that doesn't happen until June. I'm just giving you an, a heads up, so if you weren't wanting to serve again, then you need I mean, we generally leave it up to them to find their replacement, and then it's approved by this board. Okay. Okay? That's kind of an FYI. There's really no action to take on that. The next one has been very challenging and very, very difficult. My letter of resignation. How long have you been doing this? I was hired as Mike Payne's assistant um, for six years and took his place for four years. So I've been in this for years. years. That's what I was thinking. How long do you say? 20 years. So you you were here about the time Freedom Law started, right? Yep. Oh, my Really, Poe. Yeah. Po. 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 Very <laughs> unnecessary. When um, graduated high school. <laughs> I move with regret that we accept your letter of resignation. 
we don't get a suckage, you can't do it. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, dies from all the reasons. Hey man, he's got the party <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you're just moving down the hall, so it's not like you're gone. So that's necessarily she's kind of a little retainer. Right <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Motion by Eaton, second by Hannaford. Eaton? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. McMurphy? Yes. Poe? Yep. Decker? Yes, with regrets. Bradford? Yes. Thank you all. Do you have a lot of training to do? They better come in running. Yeah. <laughs> I'd make a motion that we enter executive session to discuss kind of a plan for hiring a replacement for some. Second. Motion by Poe, second by Hannaford Poe. Yes. Hannaford. Yes. Bradford. Yes. McMurphy. Yes. Decker. Yes. Eaton. Yes. Public station. Second. I'll go ahead. Second. <laughs> Motion by McMurphy. Second by Eaton. No, Decker. No, Decker, sorry. I don't care. It's all right. We <laughs> tied. Either one of us care. McMurphy. Yes. Decker. Yes. Bradford. Yes. Poe. Yes. Hamper. Yes. Eaton. Yes. For the record, board members Bradford, McMurphy, Poe, Decker, Hanford, and Eaton are in executive session beginning at 12.29 p.m. and ending at 12.55 p.m. No action was taken. Uh, executive session minutes. We discussed uh, the purpose of that's just, okay. That's yeah, that's 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 I would, I can make a motion to form a hiring committee. That'd be 14. Are we going? Or is yeah. that new business? Well, I don't know. That's why I was curious if I could put under 14 if we need to go. It's under 14. Okay. That's pertaining to the employment. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd make a motion that we form a hiring committee of three people to be on that. Uh, Randy McMurphy, Bo Hannaford, and Jeremy Eaton. To uh, do interviews and come to this committee with a recommendation for hire for the position of director. And advertising. Yeah. as a group discuss here how we want to advertise the position and then make a motion to do that. Let's do that. That could be a new business. business. But job description details will come out to everyone prior to the committee mm -hmm. making the decision. Mm -hmm. yeah. Motion by Poe to hire or to form a hiring committee composed of Randy McMurphy, Jeremy Eaton, and Bo Hannaford. They're to conduct interviews and come back to the WCEDC committee with a recommendation. You're, are not all of us going to do the interviews? Uh, I don't think we need to. I think three people organizing schedules and doing interviews is sufficient. I think it would be fine if we could get it all, the interviews happen at once, because it'll have to be agenda if there's more than three of us. I see. I mean, no, that's just a suggestion. I have no problem. I think it would be... I want to look uh, at the applications that come in. But you follow what I'm saying. It'll yes. have to be an agenda meeting if more than three of us. Right. Yeah. I, but I do want to look at the application. And the only way to do it if everybody's on it is just to set it as one 
interview evening for all the applicants, and I think you limit the availability of some of the come and applicants. But Second. Second by Hannaford. Powell? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Bradford? Yes. McMurphy? Yes. Decker? Yes. Eaton? Yes. Give me a CIDA update. I pretty well told you that. Nope. With the um, they're looking at building the, the incubator building at the airport. The NOAA update. Um, I think I've sent it out once. I'll resend it again. But NOAA's legislative event is March 23rd from 5 to 7 at the Oklahoma History Center. Uh, you should be able to register through that email. Um, Where did you say that again, Sean? It'll be at the Oklahoma History Center on March 23rd. March 23rd. Uh -huh. That's that's a Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. From five to seven. Um, I've been sending. I get stuff from the Oklahoma Academy, and I also get stuff from the Oklahoma Economic Development, and I've been sending those forward and to you, along with um, stuff from the Alliance. If you're not receiving that, then let me know. I'd be going to jump. Yep, so you might check that if you're not receiving it because I'm pulling it from me. From um, so under new business? I would like to discuss advertising of the uh, open position. How we want to go about that and then make a decision to get that started. We, I'll just throw out there, through the tech center, since this person will be on the tech center's benefit package and whatnot, we can post that on our website, which will in turn get it put on the Oklahoma Career Tech website, and then we can use our social media to do all, to do those three. Won't cost us anything, I think. Touch quite a few people. I think it needs some things done in addition to that. But I knew has not here. Anybody not, have yeah, an idea? I move that we, for advertising this position, we utilize the same procedures that we use for Northwest Technology Center employees in addition to any recommendations of websites or publications made by the board. Oklahoma Department of Commerce, okay. definitely. I think we need something local, newsgram. Yeah, newsgram, I think, yeah. would be in all parts of the newsgram. And we typically use the we do the in the news usually. Yeah, that's okay. And I think the so front I thought about social media using others, but really places like City Winoka, they can, you know, share our post and things like that, hopefully mm -hmm. you know, a little broader area also. So that'll just happen organically, I hope. What there is one other thing, like I mean, from a social media standpoint, what, I mean it doesn't cost a lot to force that out. So I think uh, we did one the other day. It's like twenty bucks. I mean, is that something you guys would be willing to do? Probably. It'll just hit a few more people. Does the alliance have anything like that job position? No. What? Northwest Alliance. Does it have any? I can't remember. I, I don't know. I attended those meetings a couple times, but it's been a conjunction. I'll so look on their website and see if they have that. I don't know that they do, but anybody else remember that? What is it, Linky Link or Lin LinkedIn? LinkedIn? Yeah, I that, know. that might not be a bad place. Yeah, I don't well, know anything about LinkedIn. I, I'm on it, but I don't. Well, me too. I, I don't know, know if I can about use it. Yeah, I don't the job. And if we approve that motion, then. Yeah. If a week down the we road you think it's something we can add as yeah. a board member, yeah. you can add by contacting yeah. us. I'll There's second. no harm in advertising. I'll second yeah. Jeremy's motion then. And I, and I just wanted to clarify that my motion to form a hiring committee was to recommend an applicant. 
second, right? That's what I said. Yes, because okay. and that just take me thinking. I mean, it's ultimately this whole group's decision, That's what I and we have access now. to yeah. that. So I thought I said that. I just wanted to make sure that I had that right. That's a recommendation. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I think that you know, I don't know. I guess that's a given to me that anybody has access to those resumes. Well, we needed to. I mean, and it we, may be we have a refer. We you bring the one person in that does an interview with the whole. Yeah, you know, there's maybe lots two, of maybe, maybe, you or maybe two, two to say, two. We, you know, we think these are viable and because that could be easier to do in one night. Yeah, yeah. I think it gives you that flexibility. I mean, I hope we get 15 applicants and you guys, you know, narrow down to two or three. And Motion by Eaton, second by Hannah, to utilize the Northwest Tech website, social media, and the OK Career Tech and any other avenues the board sees beneficial. Yes. I just, yeah, I just, yeah, you can say however you want. I just said in our normal, our normal advertising channels, which would include, so that includes like the papers and everything. Eaton? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Bradford? Yes. McMurphy? Yes. Pope? Yes. Decker? Yes. Announcements? Susan? Oh, did you just want me to tell? Um, we had some exciting news in Winoka. We have a, a couple that um, the gentleman uh, grew up in Winoka, and he and his wife are going to reopen our grocery store at the location where. It was before. Um, they're targeting April 1st or 3rd as their opening date, so that's pretty exciting for us. Um, local people, our industrial committee, our industrial trust worked with them to make that happen, so I was pretty excited about that. Awesome. Now, I saw something about that. Now, is it, what's the name? Is it like Countryside or something like uh, that? Zook's Country Market. Zook's Country Market, right. yeah. Uh -huh. okay. But they're actively working on it already. I mean, they clean. are, yeah. They and they're getting touches and come back and help them too. Then. Yes, Larry and Linda have been helping them a lot and other members of the community. So I I trust that we've been without a grocery store long enough that the community will see the value yeah. in it and support them. Yeah. <laughs> now the so. Winoka Industrial, they financed the project? They did. Okay. Uh-huh. They did, yes. And Good. with the help of the city of Winoka, we worked together to make that happen. That is one question. That, um, we talked about, you know, communication. Um, uh, do you, all, do you all have need to, to hear what our economic development committee is doing, um, our sure. industrial authority? I mean, is that beneficial too? I know you probably haven't had much communication with that group. But, uh, so Sonia goes to some of those meetings uh, yes, and we need a little bit. Yes, but. she's been very helpful to us as well. Anything that you guys have going on really mm -hmm. um, is helpful. I mean, we really didn't. This committee didn't know anything about the, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, the, the U, the big off-road thing. Um, oh, the UTV takeover? Yeah, we didn't yes. even really. And Well, and that was something I, I wanted to talk to um, someone about and in terms of, of uh, uh, including information out to um, Alba uh, vendors and sure. so forth, our, your hotels and yeah. so forth, you know, if we could have contacts or... or Lead me in the right direction there, but that that needs to happen. The more people work together, the better everybody benefits. They're mm -hmm. scheduled again for September the 16th through the 20th this year, and they will be oh, back. Here. Yes, they are. Oh, mm -hmm. They're coming. 16th back. through the 20th. 16th through the 20th, right? Okay, and let's mm -hmm. say that again. You. UTV UTV takeover. takeover. Okay. Um, go on their website and look. Um, I, I very did. Impressive. It's, yeah, yeah. Well, they do Great a lot people. of stuff. Um, cool. It's a, probably a really good time for all that to happen with the we have a new chamber director up here and I know that she's gonna be really open to cross promoting so Lieutenant Governor Pinnell was there for the first one, um, and he he was very impressed with it. And as a result of his um, of his visit and seeing what actually goes on there, um, they they're making um, Little Sahara a um, model, a state park. So they're doing some work on the park itself and 
reaching out to the other Sorry, I was along the front there. I reached out to um, Travel OK people came and talked to us at Leadership Oklahoma, and I emailed one of them to basically ask them to come out and maybe get, you know, different people around here to kind of start getting our heads together to start promoting better. Okay. Yes. I think that's a great yes. focus. I really do. We have a lot of potential. Uh, absolutely. There's bits and pieces of that America's Oasis that it could be private businesses that could, I mean, that there's a lot of work that already went into that that might be utilized. Um, don't forget that the Lieutenant Governor's turkey hunt is April 8th, 9th, and 10th. The Lieutenant Governor will be here Thursday, October 9th for our dinner. April. Yeah, April, sorry. Can, can you send us like a, more, a little more detailed schedule of the dinners or I mean all that kind of stuff? Okay. Are you planning to have that Baker's? Mm -hmm. Yes. When's the car? You give Jeremy a new pullover, so you have to wear that one. No, she's there to buy this baby. Yeah. There's yeah. no kickback to you. September. You won't run it every day. But they're having a cruise in June. Yeah, they've had new that. deal this year. July. Yeah, we've had July. it for like it five or six along. years. Oh. Goes along with crazy days. Yeah. Okay. Night. Yeah. Okay. The car show will be the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Okay, so you think about the, the the tourism, oh, the third economic impact. Third of September. It's the third weekend of September just, always. Just, yeah, well, we're, 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 we're really. It'd be great if, if this could be the following weekend. I don't know. That's a lot of traffic. You know what I'm talking about? No. I wasn't you know, aware that we're inside it, but we had to lean heavily on their schedule. Catch, schedule, yeah. yeah. Their yeah. most hopeful people are from Washington and Oregon yeah. and so yeah. yeah. So all the hotels and restaurants and gas places, mm -hmm. everybody needs to realize that you got this massive influx. And, and this is a big year because this is the twentieth, I believe, anniversary. And so um, they're doing some really special things this year to try and up the crowd. We're going, I think we're, we're targeting 500 cars, 500 entries this year. That's great. I'll talk to Jody about it. Yeah. We'll do a very good job of planning that this year, but maybe we can in the future. Make it. I mean, all the hotel people probably mm -hmm. need to, you know. Okay, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Motion by Poe, second by Hannaford. Poe? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Bradford? Yes. McMurphy? Yes. Decker? Yes. Eaton? Yes.